Hi there and thanks for joining us. I'm Connie Tran. One of the biggest fears of expecting mothers is putting their unborn baby's life at risk. For Lamore mom Katie Cochran, that fear came true at about 33 weeks along when she was diagnosed with placenta accreta, a condition that is occurring much more often in pregnant patients now than in past years as cesarean section rates increase. Everybody down this. This is everyday life for a mother of three, Katie Cochran. Right, you want to be on the blue team? She's grateful to be settled at home today with her children following a life threatening health scare last year. She was about 27 weeks pregnant with her third child, son Mark Jason, when she started bleeding. She had also tested positive for the coronavirus. They did an ultrasound, and that's when they first discovered that it looked like I had previa. Uh, placenta previa. Placenta previa is when the placenta partially or totally covers the mother's cervix. But Dr. Pamela Emini found Katie had something much more serious. She had placenta accreta. Community Regional is the only place in the region equipped with special expertise and technology to handle these challenging cases. What normally happens is when you get pregnant, and have a baby, after you deliver, the placenta comes off easily, peels off. A, an accreta is when the placenta grows abnormally into the uterus. It can grow like weeds of a root of a tree and grow abnormal. And what happens is if that's pulled incorrectly, you can bleed to death quite quickly. Katie's case was placenta percreta, where her placenta grew onto another organ. Mine actually went totally through the uterus and attached itself to my bladder. Katie had cesarean sections with her two older children, which made her at higher risk for placenta percreta. It's really a random event that happens. And if you happen to be unlucky enough that you had one C-section and your placenta grows over it on the second one, you may have this. We have other women that have had five, six, nine C-sections and this never happened. And that's a little bit the luck of draw. Dr. Emini explains high-risk pregnant patients like Katie receive the most excellent care with their multi-specialty team. We have a general surgery member. We have radiology that help with interpretation. We have anesthesia. We have interventional radiologists. We have colorectal surgeons. We have general trauma surgeons. Um, we have a urologist that's part of it. NICU is part of our team breast, the lactation people are part of our team. Social work is also part of our team. So it is a true multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary team that has been set up to help women that have this event called an accreta. At around 35 weeks, Katie prepared to have another cesarean section to deliver baby MJ. So they ended up doing what's called a cesarean hysterectomy where because my placenta was through my uterus, they were not able to detach it from the uterus, so they ended up taking the whole uterus out. Probably 90% of the time it does end in a hysterectomy, but there are times it doesn't. If it's focal, small, not involving the cervix, which is the bottom of the uterus, we can sometimes preserve the uterus. That is not established until you're in the operating room. And Katie praises the surgical team at Community Regional, especially Dr. Emini, for saving her and baby MJ. She walked me through the entire procedure, essentially, and, and it just made us feel like she knows exactly what she's doing. She is very prepared, and we felt very confident in her and the entire team that took care of us. Dr. Emini says placenta accreta is occurring more because of the increased rate of cesarean deliveries. She wants to remind all pregnant women to always talk with their doctor and be sure to receive all of their prenatal care.